Ciao, ciao, chico bellos, chico bellas. Don't be fools, don't follow my rules. Welcome back in Advance My Style. I bought a new Canon G7X, G7X, finally. Have it in my hands, so I'll be able to do melting makeup reviews. Today is Sunday, and I'm running to Hampstead Heath, three kilometers there, three kilometers back, to see if setting up foundation with a loose powder actually works. I'll be using Team Touche Eclat BR40 and my skin's all greasy because it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I've been around the whole day. I just pop this over my face, all over my face. And then on one half, I'll apply pressed powder. I toned down the lights so you guys actually see how I look like in real life, all the redness and everything on my skin because I really want to show you real makeup. You know, how makeup looks in real life. No overexposed images, just true colors. I'm using Team Touche Clar foundation because it's not the best for my skin. I have oily skin, still dehydrated, so it's kind of okay, but when I go running and my skin gets oilier, this will really slide off. It will easily slide off. Because for example, if I would put MAC Studio FX or Double Wear Estee Lauder, the foundation would pretty much stay because those are really thick foundations. But we want to have a natural look. So putting a little bit of translucent powder over should uh, keep the foundation in place. That's how we told, right? I never put it to the test, so I'll be applying it with a sponge actually that I tap it in so I don't delete the foundation underneath. Pressed powder, loose powder is pretty much the same thing. And by adding it on the face, you add powder. So the main ingredient in most of the foundations. Therefore, you make a foundation thicker and uh, it should just stay on for a long time. But foundations are made of different consistency, especially Touche Eclat is made with minerals. So it's a very, very grinded powder, where this pressed powder is just made of normal tail powder. Therefore, this is far thinner and this is thicker and the consistency of both is not that compatible. So I'm wondering, because this is quite common with foundations, I'm wondering if this will cake up when I run, or will it actually make the foundation stay on far better? Let's go running for six kilometers and uh, I'll pop back in the studio to show you how this looks like. Oh, just remember, before I go running, I need to show you how my skin looks like from a close angle. This is the part of a face where I applied pressed powder and this where I just have two chiclas I'm mostly wondering what will happen on my big creases here and especially under the eye. This is actually what I do three times per week. And in the end of this 3K run, there's this lovely hill. We're in Hampstead Heath. You can't see how steep it actually is. But when I come on top, that's victory. One thing so far, on the part where I applied loose powder, my eye itches so much because, I don't know, maybe this loose powder is dripping in my eye and it really hurts. This is actually really bad. No summer in England this year. I'm not sweating. What? I'm not sweating like, sweat me a river, sweating a river. But, oh, fella, woo! Oh my god, I get hit by the car if I be running like this. So, because I'm not sweating enough, I go do a couple more exercises just after I finish this crazy hill in front of me. Here we go, here we go. Let's do this. Hardcore training on a bar. Oh, damn, I thought it was close. All good. 
Look at this. That's where I exercise. No weights and stuff, just lifting. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I wiped makeup off with my shirt. <laughs> I can't believe it. Hey, I'm so sorry, but I hope something stays on the face. Well, just on a forehead a little bit, and here, where the loose powder is, so it should be all right. Let's just continue with the exercise. I'm actually really tired today, so I'll do just a couple more push-ups and I'll go to the studio to see how this makeup melted. Damn, I wiped off quite some makeup, have I? Melting makeup part one. Look how much I'm sweating. This is actually a really cool test because first of all, you guys get a nice review. Second, I get to exercise. So it's a win-win situation. I think where I applied pressed powder on, the makeup actually stayed on better. Let's see it from a closer angle. It's not such a big difference. So here I have loose powder on and here I don't. I think it's also really hard for you guys to see it on uh, YouTube because it downsizes the quality. But setting up foundation with the loose powder is actually quite a good idea because nothing caked up, which is actually, meow, <laughs> you can see all my wrinkles. Very interesting. To be honest, I don't think it is such a big difference whether you put pressed powder over or not. More important is what kind of a foundation you use. So just buy a longer lasting foundation or buy a better quality foundation. I think that's a better idea because why would you set up something with a powder or like mattify? I think powder is mainly to retouch the face. You know, for example, you go out, you go powder your nose. This is what they did or said in uh, old days. Therefore, to conclude, you know, just you're better off buying a better foundation, spend more money for a really good foundation. I think it's also very important how I set up these hypotheses because if I go running 21 kilometers, if I would, maybe one day I will, with Tintouche Eclat foundation, it, it's no use because of course it will melt. But if I would put double wear Estee Lauder and for example some other foundation on the face, I would be really able to see which one stayed better under such extreme conditions. Tell me what you think about my new reviews, but mainly tell me your requests. Like, what do you want to see in these videos? Because now I bought Canon G7X. It looks like this, that you'll know what I'm talking about. Now that I have this camera, I can do whatever I like. I can go out, I can go running, I can go, I don't know, dancing, whatever. Give me your requests, because these videos are just really cool. I like doing them. Have fun. Show me your love in the comments below. Like this video, especially share it and have fun. Don't be fools. Don't follow makeup rules. Join me next time. Love you.